Hey guys, what is up and welcome to another episode of Brew and Build and uh, th this is going to be a little bit unplanned because I don't really have a plan uh, for this episode. <laughs> um, I really just wanted to record because you guys have been freaking amazing and subscribing out the wazoo and it's just kind of blown me away a bit and so I wanted to just get on and record a bit. Uh, because it, it's put me in a pretty good mood. I had this flower. Oh, I can't replace that with a mu Gosh, I hate the mushroom mechanics. Not being able to place them. Uh, I haven't done a ton of work on this because uh, I'm still on the same day that I actually recorded. So I haven't actually gone and gotten coarse dirt. I have found a little bit and put it over here mainly. Um, but haven't got a ton of work done on that. Uh, let me put these planties away, and we can uh, talk a bit about what we're going to do. I, oh, the mushrooms have changed also. The mu I'm using the new um, textures from the new like texture pack stuff that Minecraft themselves are coming out with. And those have changed, and I'll show you the, uh, get out of here. Where's this blue flower? It's in my offhand. I really wish you could access like your offhand like over here or something when it's in an inventory that would be so nice um, but these are the red mushrooms and I really like the red mushrooms I mean they they look like mushrooms and yeah, I don't know I really like them um, but today what I thought we'd do is just a couple little little things it's probably gonna be a rather short episode Find me some wood, get some, uh, yeah, dark oak I think will work. Maybe, mm, little, little oakage, oakage will be good. Um, what I wanted to do, actually, maybe those mushrooms will work on the wood, I don't remember. I don't know how mushrooms work, I don't ever use them, so we'll just give it a whirl. And hope for the best, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Um, but what I wanted to do was, so we've got this little marshy boggy air boggy area sorry that guy thought was like really loud in my left ear and so it just kind of like shocked me and i i needed to look at him um but the thing like i i would think there would be some like logs that have fallen over um that are kind of like dead or dying um how are we gonna do this i want it to start here can you start there? Oh my gosh. You can do that. Didn't know that. But, so, like, kind of like, I don't know, just a log that has fallen into the, uh, fallen over. Can you put mushrooms on these? No. 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 I wish, I don't under, I don't like the fact that, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I've got some phlegm in my throat. I don't like the fact that you can't put mushrooms anywhere that there's a, not a... I forget what the light level has to be. I don't know. You can put them under trees because the light's lower. Um, but you can't... I wish you could put them on logs because I think they would look so good. Um, and so maybe we'll get... Uh, I think we, this needs like a fence or something. Or maybe... That could be cool. And we also need to name this pickaxe. Ooh, that's coarse dirt. Maybe that'll be cool. Mm, it's not bad. It's, I don't know, it's not bad. I mean, kind of looks like a log that fell over. Um, but I think uh, we should just add some little logs and stuff along here. Not a ton, but like fallen trees and such that have gotten bogged down. Uh -huh. uh, some trees and stuff that have fallen over. And, uh... But let me go ahead and do that a little bit, or eh, we will. I'll do that off camera uh, afterwards because I've got some things I want to talk to you about. So, I mean, a few episodes ago, I laid out this uh, kind of wall path, and it, I mean, I'd love to hear from you guys about the wall idea. Like, you saw the wall design in the last episode. What do you think of about it? it how, do you think it'll fit this area? Because I'm still struggling a little bit to kind of justify a wall. Like, I can justify a wall in saying it's for protection. I mean, I can always say that, but I just don't want to put up a wall that feels a little weird. Like, I mean, it, 
the only part of the wall that I think feels a little strange is the stone part. Ugh, sorry, I get the burpees when I uh, start recording, so that's kind of gross. Um, but so it's the stone, the cobblestone portion that I kind of am iffy about, and I think it would be good because I mean the houses are cobblestone, have cobblestone in them and such. Oh my gosh, burps. And so I can justify the cobblestone, but I don't know. It just feels like a really, a really strong wall. But I guess it's not. It's hollow. It's got fan. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to talk myself out of this massive wall building project. Probably that. Um, but I wanted to explain. His little phone. You go off. Who are you? Who contact me at this hour? Fiance. That's okay. She can wait. Uh, if you are watching this, Emma, I'm sorry. You had to wait. I put subscribers before you. Um, but, so we've got the wall here. And what I was thinking is, this could be... I cleared this out. If you don't remember, this was all kind of hills. Let's hop on up here and get a good look at it. Um, if you don't remember, the area over there was kind of hilly. And there were some trees here and such. And it, like, extended all the way... All the way up here? Or it extended a good ways over here. And I pushed that back um, and tried to make it look a little natural. I need to alter that a little bit. Actually, it looks like an Enderman took a block and plopped it down there. Um, and so these, this wool is marking... So this wool was marking out where I wanted to carve this out because the land kind of went uh, out here a little bit. Um, actually, it came out a pretty good ways because there's that lava pool. Um, so I marked out this with this area and kind of this is like a path a way a way of walking to lead to this mill and also lead down there if we build down there or to just kind of lead over here um, and we do need to work out some sort of walkway this way and I'm thinking of using the trap doors which I did alter the texture even more and I think that's really good Ooh, sorry I just smacked everything with my kneecap right there it is throbbing I'm in pain but we will continue um, so I've laid out this uh, with the wool a little hard to differentiate between the diary and the wool, but that's okay. Uh, so the wool here kind of lays out where this wheat field is going to go. It's going to be a pretty decent sized wheat field. Um, and the wool itself is going to be a uh, sort of cobblestone broken down wall. And I think that's going to be really good. Um, and then the house, this house is going to be, I would say, like the keeper of this field. Makes sense to me. Um reason I'm putting a, a wheat field here is because this mill's right here and why I was thinking of putting a wheat field like legitimately on the opposite end and why would you put a wheat field all the way over there if the mill is right here so yeah that didn't make sense to me um, so I, I decided this would be a good area um, and then the wall could kind of it could butt up against the wall and it, it I don't know I think I think it'll make the flow nice um, and then it can get not have any of these houses this house area to like extend over here um, So I think it'll be good um, And we can have some maybe some stalls and stuff along here or something like that some like vendors and such um, Because that'll be like that bay area way over there will be more the higher class like shopping district or something like a higher end and so they can have some like watermelon selling people I don't know uh, that that sounds sounds fine to me. Um, get some get some of the whole like the, the oh pff, wool carpet canopy things. Uh, what are those called? Whatever they are, canopy works for me. Um, so yeah, I think this is gonna be a wheat field, uh, and I will hop on that and get that going. Probably not actually gonna do it tonight because it's one eleven a.m. and I have to leave tomorrow morning to go back to school sad but also good because here it takes me about four hours to upload a video that's 25 minutes long um which is just awful um and he uh at, at college it takes me about mm, 30 minutes probably that's on a bad day that's on a 30 minute 30 minute episode that's on a bad day um, so that that that's something I look forward to <laughs> I have not liked this upload speed here at the house um, 
but that's just something you got to deal with i like this i just like this i really like the soul sand texture i don't know you guys may hate it but i really like it if you like it leave me a comment tell me tell me uh that you like it or what you what like the textures that i've shown you what textures do you like what textures don't you like um i'll show you this now the uh, i changed the trapdoor a bit got rid of the little whatever that thing was called latch at the top so it works well just by itself and i think this looks really good i took a lot of inspiration uh from well i mean a lot of inspiration from just oak planks in general um but i took also drew a lot of inspiration from f whip or flip flip f whip i don't remember how to say his name if you guys haven't seen uh him flip i'm just gonna call him flip flip if you're in if you watch this tell me how to say your name uh because i don't know i like flip f whip just makes me feel like i'm saying something that is supposed to be dirty but it's not i don't know um but i i took a lot of inspiration from what he did and uh really like it and it actually when you lay it flat runs with it runs with it right yeah it runs horizontal and when you flip it up runs vertical which i think is kind of a unique interaction um but i really like it and i'm not gonna really like i'm sure i could change that but eh, i don't care um it'll make for a nice little variation it's a variation that i don't have to actually work to add um oh i want to show you the oak door because i've done some changing to it because it it was it was okay uh, let's oh, oh wait hold on. do we got any oak doors i don't ever use them yeah good i want this door too all right um we need a good scene for this door right here block no the llamas are noisy i'm not dealing with that and the sheep sheep are louder they won't ever be quiet all right prepare to be amazed actually lies prepare to not be amazed i need a trap door two of them in fact right there all right so we got the trap doors and i went with this sort of style as the inspiration for uh, wait, but I just said on this one. This one. Did. Oh. Spoiler. Uh huh. I hate life. I hate not placing. When you try and place a block and try and be fancy. But yeah, so this is the. Oh my gosh. That goes so well together. Like, I haven't seen these together like this. But this is a. This. I love this. I'm sorry. Like. I love this if you guys, tell me what you guys think do you like this um because i really like it i think it's a good change i do think that uh the <laughs> sorry my house just made a really creepy creak and it freaked me out but so let, tell me tell me what you think um i think i'm gonna die these guys down probably make them not as white make them just kind of a light gray uh, this is fine. I think this is fine. Ooh, and you can see through. Look at that. Ooh. So I'll know if there's <laughs> zombies there, besides the fact that their arms stick through the door. Um, but so uh, yeah, let me let me know what the what you think about this door. Uh, it's definitely gone through a lot of change. Um, I wanted to just make it different, give it a little bit more flair and uh, some. Uh, yeah, make it make it more flary because the I don't like the original door. <laughs> It's kind of boring to me, um, and so I th thought if we make this change, might as well make this change. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to work on this whole wheat field, and we got a ton of seeds and stuff from this area, and I'm also gonna plop some logage down here. And if there's anything else, ooh, I should put some vines on the logs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if there's anything else that I should put in here, you think would be good? Um, then yeah let me know because that would be awesome because i really like how this is turning out and i really want the like this to be a good indicator of what is to come around this world darkness is imprisoning me all that i see um so yeah le leave me a comment i've asked you to leave a comment on like 12 things uh so that's uh 
something. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, I just I guess I'm just excited that there are people that are watching me. It was crazy. I mean, honestly, I went from one subscriber to last time I checked, I was at 17. I what? That I I I don't even I I know uh, uh, quadrupled, uh, quintupled. Uh, I don't know what 17 is. 17 uppled? 7, 7, 70 uppled? I don't even know. I don't, I, uh, if you know that word, tell me it because we did it. <laughs> um, and so I was just really excited and uh, I'm still, still excited. Uh, and, you know, I don't like, I'm not a social media guy. Uh, and, uh, I honestly, the only social media I use is Twitter and that's because of this channel. Um, and... <laughs> When I saw, like, I don't get any joy f really from people, like, if I post something to Instagram, I don't care how many likes it gets because I just wanted to share a picture with people. Um, but I don't know. This channel definitely, it made me giggle like a schoolgirl, if that helps you to envision it. Don't envision me giggling like a schoolgirl, just envision a schoolgirl giggling happily. And then put that out of your mind because uh, people will think you're a creep. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get to work. I'm going to stop blabbing. I'm going to get this wheat field done and then maybe bring you in as we build the wall. And so yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. So we are done with the wheat field. I went ahead and made basically everything. Uh, reason being is I have to kind of work ahead for this week's uh, scheduled episodes and such and yeah so I, I have a, a, a job that job interview that I was excited about uh, a few, few episodes ago uh, I have another one with the same company uh, this will be my fifth <laughs> interview with them uh, and it's a like a final in-person interview um, and so I have that on Wednesday, and so I have to kind of work ahead to be able to get things ready for this next week, because I want you guys to be able to have episodes. Um, and so I'm kind of backlogging a bit. So I went ahead and made this, uh, and it's nothing uh, nothing too crazy. It's a decent-sized wheat field. Not sure why I went down that way, considering that, but whatever. So I went ahead and made this little cobblestone wall. It's just kind of like broken down and nothing spectacular not gonna keep anything out but just kind of like borders it and i mamma mia sheepies are loud actually let's turn them down i don't need to hear them um friendly creatures i'll stop sure get out of here we'll turn that down so yeah i went ahead and made the cobblestone wall got this little little entrance thing and i think it looks good um, I was going to work some more on stuff, but I, this episode, I talked a lot in the last clip, and so I, I think this will do well. We'll just tour this a little bit, and then I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, so yeah, lots of wheat, and I actually, I made some dips just to give it kind of a, a more unique look. Uh, so it's got a few dips uh, here and there, so like there's dipped over there, and then because it's a swamp, I thought, you know, the land might kind of waver and go up and down and stuff so i made a dip down like this and then i wanted one thing that i have found whenever you're doing paths and this is a i guess a uh, tip uh, for whenever you do paths is to not make them totally straight um, like this is fine like this is a nice little straight section but then it kind of curves a little bit and curves back over here and it just adds so much more to your path. Like it makes it way more interesting, the fact that it curves. Um, and so this this little curve and dip and stuff just gives it a little bit more interest. Um, and yeah, so there's no water sources in here. This is all just wheat. Uh, I used a, a lot of bones to make this all grow for you guys so you can see it in its growing stages but yeah so it exits here there's a little entrance here so we'll have a path that connects with that from over here 
Uh, and I think I'll put some like a seating sort of thing here to be able to see, but I think it's nice. I really like it. And we'll eventually have a wall that kind of goes around it and encases it fully. Um, but yeah, I think it's really nice. Um, shut the light on. Yes. And then, oh, and so I terraformed it a bit so that it goes up onto the little house here and still got to work out the path but that's okay so i made this house and i made it so the field actually goes all the way up onto it um, and i think we'll do this in the next episode is work out the interior i've worked out the ceiling a bit except for that little spot there worked out the ceiling a little bit and added a few little things like a little closet just nice that's one thing i really like about these textures matching up is you they you can use them to make a nice little closety sort of dealio um and then these are like some sh hidden shelvings obviously that i can't change that's dirt that's got grass on the top but you got some nice little shelvings and that one doesn't no shelving there but no shelving there. this is aesthetic that's a wall. Ignore it. This, this is shelving. Um, but yeah, and so it's going to have a basement, I think, for storage. Haven't done anything. Just kind of cleared it out, giving it a little bit of a, a little look and feel for it. Um, and so, yeah. Oh, and I added logs. I forgot. I added some logs, uh, and I think they look good. Uh, they're really simple. Nothing spectacular. Just some little loggy like this is a dark oak log added some occasional jungle uh, jungle wood this one might have a little bit of leaves be a little fresher kind of fell off at an angle and added some buttons just to give it a little give the edges a bit more oomph and then added this i think it looks good i think they just occasional buttons everywhere um, and i think they look good i think they really add just another layer to this and yeah i think they look good i really like it Ooh, sun's going down we're gonna die but i think that's gonna do it for this episode guys um everything that i had mentioned before in the previous little time uh, about all the comments and stuff i'd love to hear your feedback and such um i also from some of the comments that i saw before uh few of you like you you like it like the diorite i feel like it's still a work in progress i'm not in love with it i can't decide which one i like okay which one do you prefer this one that's kind of cobblestone looking a little messier or this one where it's more of a i think i overlaid the stone texture onto this which one do you prefer cobblestone or more stony uh, personally, I like the stone more, but I'm not opposed to this one. And this one's all right. This one kind of makes me think of birch trees. I don't know. Um, so I think, I, I think regardless, I think we have good options and I'm still going to tweak them. Um, I think the main issue now is that these, these two are too different from one another to go well together. Uh, and so I think uh, trying to rein those in will help. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you really like this wheat field. Um, I think in not this ne ep next episode, but the in two episodes, we'll start working on this wall here to really flesh this wheat field out. Uh, and just to get a good feel as to what this wall, hopefully I can maybe get like all of this all the way up to there done so you can really see what it's going to be like. Um, but yeah, so... If you like this, uh, like this little episode, like I don't know if you like this format. If you'd prefer seeing me do stuff as opposed to me talking, I did a lot of talking mainly because I was just excited about you guys subscribing and actually having a, an audience to interact with. Um, and so, if you if you would prefer me do more building on camera, I'd be totally fine with that. Next episode will be that doing interior design stuff, which I think is good. Uh, kind of my process and stuff similar to the hobbit hole that's over there um, and so yeah i think that this this will be it for this episode hope you guys like this little wheat field uh, leave a comment about all the 
various things that I mentioned. And if you have any ideas for underneath, some of you, uh, I've been thinking Podzel, but we'll have to find a Mega Taiga for that. Uh, but that's fine. I was thinking Podzel um, and potentially trying to change the mycelium to a more more brown, I guess. But I don't know. I, I can't decide. I don't want to change mycelium so much that it doesn't actually like work. Uh, that it's not actually mycelium anymore. Because um, soul sand, I tried to keep that little soul at soul aesthetic to it. Um, and so I don't know. I'll tweak. I'll work with it a little bit, so we can get some mushrooms and stuff going in here. Because I think mushrooms in this area will be really good. Um, but yeah, so that'll do it for this episode. I've said that like five times, and then I keep going. So I'm just gonna go and get a little bit more work done, and come back with you uh, probably in this today still probably them backlogging so gonna jump right into recording this uh, interior design episode and hopefully you guys can look forward to that and yeah so i'll see you in the next episode guys love you and thank you for subscribing and yeah see you later hey,